We're done with the back lane, boss. Okay, this looks funny uh, because it is funny, but I don't know if you know how ordinary DOT gets about guardrails. There's an entire protocol for installing guardrails and all of it's for a very good reason. Uh, th but but they're very passionate about their guardrails. So if I was in, in charge of putting in the bike lane, I would just asphalt the bike lane. I'm not gonna cut that guardrail and have DOT chasing after me for the uninitiated DOT as Department of Transportation. I just don't want to die by, you know, paperwork and clipboards. Deliver the chemicals to the lab, boss! Chemicals, this way up! And that's how Crooked Neck Nick got fired from FedEx. I added the logo, boss. Let's see here, we got the Watney Market, environmental improvements. Yeah, a bunch of logos there, okay, good, we can do images. Uh, we have landscape architects, uh, QS. They, they just sell a lot of cues. We have m and &E engineers, structural engineers, does what it says on the tin. And then, uh, contractor's logo. Oh, uh, oh, did I, did I not upload that? Actually, this is a graphic design company that only does logos for contractors. Put out the watermelon display, boss! Kids' choice watermelons! Kids make terrible decisions. Why are, why are you giving the, that, mm, you know what? Never mind, I take it all back. Kids did choose those watermelons. They were young and dumb and, and chose cantaloupes instead. It's mork in time. No, 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 no. Road mark ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna call out on this one because this is not a, 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 a not my job. Somebody didn't screw up their job here. This is r slash mildly vandalized. Nice to see you here, but somebody took off the W and flipped it around. We need to build a wall. Okay, this this is talent. You should actually do some really cool like art installationy things, uh, with with like flat OLED screens set into angles of drywall create like a hologram room. Oh, that'd be so cool. But, but yeah, I mean, they, they cut and install drywall directly around the TV. That just proves you're very good at your job. I, I'm not seeing a problem with this. And, and as the, you know, IT and tech person, I don't want other people touching the technology in an area. One time, a fire alarm inspector unplugged one of our firewalls, ironically, bringing down half of our network because he needed out an outlet to charge his phone. So no, I don't trust anybody touching electronics to frame around it. They had only one job. Only actually sounds fine just both ways. Haver, Haver MT. Ha is that a real name of a real place? Is that Monte? Oh, oh okay. All right. <laughs> Several things just collided in my brain. Only, not how you spell only. <laughs> OP was, was spelling it wrong on purpose. Uh, and Montana just has some weird place names. Printed the switch, boss. Mm, DC 5 volt and... No off. Uh, we, we call this thing uh, the eternal. Cladding is done, boss. <sighs> this would have looked so good. Even if you had at least committed to something, you could have made like one big diagonal line with other lines going behind it. <sighs> like, I understand if you started this, and didn't realize that it, they, they all needed to match, like you were just mindlessly laying tile. But don't finish it, just stop there and walk away. I would actually love a wall decorated like like that V up at the top, like all the way down, but chrome and black with like pink neon light. That would be so cool. I put up the bathroom door instructions, boss. Kung Jun Ot Monk Nunch Clonk Ot this has been Bathroom Shakespeare with MK in memory of World War 11. Elev Look, we've had way too much world history go on in the like the last 10 years, but I, I know we haven't had that much. I built the boast, boss. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. At least they painted it yellow. I, I'm guessing that this is... Uh, like on a private air base or something like that because it doesn't look like a public road or it's on a very, very low use, low speed road. <laughs> and it, it, you know, I'm sure that the power line folks plotted out the route and they got there and we're like, well, we have this many feet of cable and we need to put a pole. Either side has a, has a hill. I don't, I don't actually know, but I'm sure there's, there's some technical stuff for linemen to do. I don't, this is outside my wheelhouse. I don't, I don't know why this post needed that. 
but but it did. Those look like cardboard boxes for like light bulbs or uh, junction boxes or something. But the pipe, the pipe is actually metal. That looks like conduit. Like somebody had to bend that into shape. Maybe it was just, you know, maybe it was just a coincidence. I shouldn't be analyzing these poses as much as I do, but I always wanted to see if I can find the explanation or, or, or absolve the person of guilt to make them look less stupid. Cause sometimes I still have faith in humanity and <laughs> look, there are worse traits. The billboard's up, boss. <laughs> okay, this is the fault of two people. The billboard company it will tell you if a billboard is wrapped around a building. Because there's a lot of buildings in New York City that have builder, billboards around the corners. Because you can't just have a billboard sticking out of the fascia of, of, a, of a building. Speaking of fascia, look at that giant crack. I'm sure that's safe. But two, the billboard company will send you a template when you, when you design your billboard. And it'll show, like the angle of the billboard and sometimes it'll include information like if it's lit or what angle it's at, what it's around. This can vary. But the designer should be working around. Like you can just flip these two. You could work with that gap. You can put the text in the gap or, you know, wrap it around and put the person on the right hand side so it doesn't look like they have a jaw from the ring. But when the billboard company gets the design back, I feel like they should run it through like, I don't know, an image simulator, a, just a Photoshop template that shows the lines and it's like, hey, should send it back to the client and be like, hey, just to prove this, like this is what it's gonna look like. Are you good? Now, if all of that already happened and they paid for this billboard and it went up, y'all only got yourselves to blame. Either way, r slash crappy design, lovely to see you here. Check out my gerrymandered quesadilla. <laughs> gerrymandered quesadilla. It sounds like the south half of Texas. Um, wow. No, that is gerrymandered as all hell. You have put most of the toppings in two slices and the rest of that is just going to be bread and cheese. There's nothing wrong with bread and cheese, uh, but your ratio of quesadilla food internals, queso guts to, to, to tortilla is, is going to be way off. After renovating the band room, the people who painted the shelves just painted over the gum. Oh my god. Ah. Okay, so uh, I, when, when we were buying homes in Florida, my parents were, not me, I was like 10. The person selling the home, uh, it, it was a home that was near water, as most things in Florida are, and, and it, they had painted everything to, to like an aggressive degree. Like exterior paint on the outside of the walls, on the outside of the exterior window sills, on the outside of the exterior windows to a good amount, over the latches, over the outlets, over like the the uh, faucet spigot. Every, everything had paint on it. And it turns out they were hiding a bunch of rust, <laughs> which is exactly what we were worried about. We, we didn't buy the house. Install the new meter box, boss. I, I want to jump on it. I feel like I should be able to jump on it and like a secret door will open or I'll get a power up. For those not, not quite sure what this is, this is a US water box. Your water meter is supposed to come into it and then your water company can access the meter and, and the shutoff while keeping the pipe underground and it's shielded on all sides so the soil doesn't get to it and you know, both make it inaccessible and possibly damage the meter. The part they didn't do here was sink it into the ground. <laughs> Deliver the package, boss! Deliver today. Your package was received by a namer dude at door 10. Received by or left at dude. You just, you just gave him some, some random guy named dude my package at door 10? That could have been important. I mean, it's, it's not, it's probably treats for my dog, but, but still, that's important to me and her landlord painted over a penny no this wasn't a landlord it was a superintendent because if it was a landlord he would have taken that landlords love pennies if you have a bad landlord landlord try paying them in pennies it is legal tender notice the patio is currently not open because it is closed you know you think this is a stupid sign but this sign exists for the same reason we have do not drink on bottles of bleach instructions on bottles of shampoo and help desk support tickets where i've had to instruct end users to turn on their freaking monitor somewhere in the philippines oh my jeez <laughs> cable head management yeah we heard of that once it's a type of salad isn't it Good lord, that's more spaghetti than all of Italy combined. R slash urban hell. Oh, I bet you there's some New York City in there. The game all Australians are playing. Give them door. <laughs> they, they, they put the middle part of the advertisement on upside down. See, the, the problem I always have with this is like, you're holding it up. Oh, it's, it's English words, isn't it? It's English words and it's probably, okay. All right, never mind. No, I take that back. This is in the UK. The train says Huddersfield. 
I just looked that up. That's a place in the UK. This is an English speaking country. There's no excuse for this. Hot O pockets. Hot O. Yeah. I'm more upset by posits than I am with the coloring because this is just mild crappy design. It's very clear what they were going for. Like, this isn't nearly as bad. I also have a soft spot in my heart for like tiny delis because I lived off of them in college and at my previous job. So I'm going to be easy on them. This is very clearly like a small deli or a small grocery store. I made sure to point out the smooth feeling you get from wearing these insoles, boss. Oh, AliExpress. Hmm. Uh, stepping on Schmidt feeling. Upgrade boost. As, as a lifelong fan of racing games, don't boost when you're driving over Schmidt. Uh, you'll probably spin out. Uh, finish these bullet points, boss. Teacher recruitment fair, Berkeley County. This morning at 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. at the Cane Bay High School. Walk-ins are welcome. Bullet line four goes here. Bullet line five goes here. I think I've seen this template in Microsoft PowerPoint. They arrested the whole city of Green Bay, Wisconsin? Green Bay arrested after police say he made threats to a business. The, the entire city of Green Bay is is male and doesn't like businesses. Biz, biz, big businesses? Is the entire city of Green Bay just Bernie Sanders walking around? I have seen holes filled in better on Pornhub. I, I would almost go to this person's defense because this is how holes are filled in New York City. Because, like, you can't close a street for that long. But there is nobody around. I'm pretty sure it's in the UK because it's got those weird squiggly lines on the road. They, they always get those squiggles. They really like squiggles over there. I don't know. And now, life tips with Lexi. Appreciate what you want be are the makes you appreciate what what you dad. Please call an ambulance. I think I'm having a stroke. Boss, I bought the lowest press spots for the game. I got, I got a deal. Uh, you, you can't see anything, but but I got a deal. Why do they even have seats here? Like, especially the first three. Like, the second row, you can maybe see cut sign around, like, you sell them for 10 bucks or something. But, like, the first, just use that for infrastructure. Just, just run some pipes or cables or, like, Put a screen there. Put a screen with a camera on the other side. Or I unironically uh, give these away for free to like division of blind services, like state state blind services. You, you can just get free tickets as a blind person. There are sports fans out there. I know they exist hypothetically, and I'm sure some of them have gone blind due to accidents or illness or whatever. Like you can still be at a game. Who fixes a clock like this? The American education system. That's that's how. Oh, this image is probably. The most accurate visual representation of the United States education system. What did I just say? The only reason I said that is because it, these are school clocks. Like, they're all wired up to, to be on the same thing so that you can have the buzzers and stuff. You can't just pull them off the wall and, like, replace the battery. Finished putting up the Christmas decorations, boss. Hey, you did a pretty good job. You got Santa up there and some, some pencil and, uh, jump for joy. Please don't, Santa. Please, please think of Mrs. Claus. My city recently installed new bicycle racks. <sighs> As somebody who gets around on bikes and e-scooters exclusively, and who is also a pedant, uh, that that bike rack is cemented into the ground and is not 15 feet away from the fire hydrant. You have created a fire risk and put bike hurdles in the middle of the bike lane. I mean, if you want to put a ramp in the front of that and turn this into like an evil Knievel thing, I'm all for that, but at least it's intentional. Made the instructional graphic, boss. Folded shirt. Oh, I've been my meaning to try one of these, but but yeah, you put the shirt in, you you, you do the thing. It, it uh, that, that looks like just two steps repeated, but okay, maybe I'm just not understanding it. Uh, folding pants. Uh, you, you, you put a mostly folded shirt down and, uh, and you do that twice. The, the folding child clothes. This is, this is not helpful. I'm, I'm confident now in that uh, this is not helpful whatsoever. I entered his name, boss. First name, last name. Plot twist, that's his legal name. I repair commercial kitchen equipment. I don't clean between equipment. Yeah, I, I've done IT in restaurants. I, I don't clean. I'm sorry. I started carrying gloves. Like, the, the latex gloves and, like, some cleaning and magic erasers and some disinfectant just because so, so gross. So gross. Oh, my God. But no, I'm not cleaning behind your, your your wiring and stuff. No, dear God, no. Put the ad in the paper like you asked me to, boss. Restaurant hits out at hygiene rating. San Cesario and something road. Uh, and just below this, 
Celebrate Father's Day with the authentic taste of Italy. San Cesario, your local independent Italian restaurant. I mean, this is actually, this I, <laughs> This is entirely the fault of the newspaper for not moving the placement of these ads, if there was even a spot for a half page ad. But, but I mean, you can read the rebuttal of their hygiene issues directly above. So like, if you think the hygiene inspector was being a, a complete prick, you can read the response. Sometimes inspectors can be, you know, pretty difficult. This sandbox was placed right on top of a manhole. I love the guy standing there. It just frames it perfect. Just like, oh, dang. Huh. Well, where'd all the kids go? <laughs> just looking down. Oh, where, where are you? That might be a problem. The road is finished. Oh, I, I went into this Mortal Kombat style. I do it. I have a headcanon about this now where once you finish paving your road, you like throw your tools into the road and then pave over the tools as like, these were the tools that have made the road to wherever they will be entombed into the concrete. Um, but that'd probably be dangerous. But I'm sure somebody just dropped their tool and the guy laying the asphalt just like didn't notice and they were like, whoops. Uh, bricks made from bricks. Uh, uh, this post contains no Lego. I am so disappointed. I've, I've seen these before though. It, this is not the correct way to do it, but you're supposed to like break up all the bricks and then you mix them with mortar and it, it makes like a, a, a thing you can put into a mold. I don't know, I've seen this before, but these seem awfully big and this does not seem structurally sound whatsoever. Eh, just go through. This is one of those fascinating chicken or the eggs, like did the stairs get built around the gas line or did the gas line just show up? I'm betting that this was not a public stairwell to begin with. Actually, that might be a standpipe for, uh, for water. But, but it, it, either way, utility lines get, get, uh, prescriptive easement and can just go right on through anything they want. So I'm guessing this was not a public stairwell before it was just run through and it wasn't really a big deal. And then it became a public stairwell and it's, it's still not a huge deal, but it's, it's a bit of one. Walmart no longer sells handgun ammunition. This includes, but is not limited to 762 millimeter. 9 millimeter, 38 mil, 40 mil, 45 millimeter, 223 millimeter, and 357 millimeter. What is that? My 357 millimeter handgun. <laughs> quick, quick, quick boomstick lesson. The size of the tiny thing you use to fling through your explosive hole puncher is measured in two ways, caliber and millimeter. It can get a little confusing sometimes, but usually there's a dot in front of the, the caliber. So like 0.22 is, is a 22 cal. That is smaller than a nine millimeter. 38 millimeter, 40 millimeter. These are these are like an inch and a, and a half diameter. Like this, this is stuff that they use in grenade launchers to puncture through two inches of steel. 357 millimeters is 14 inches. If your handgun fires 14 inch ammunition, you can call yourself God and I'll believe you. Crosswalk is done, boss. Oh, was, was the paintings supposed to line up? Oh, come on guys. I am curious to see this curb uh, that we're standing on to see if it's cut out in the correct location. Because if I had to line up either the, the walk stripes with the curb on the, the side of the road or the curb at the median, I'd line them up at the side of the road. Dear Satan, I've, oh, I'm sorry, Santa. Let's try that again. Uh, Dear Santa, I've been extra good this year. Here are some cookies and milk. Sale for 99. Mm, cookies for Satan. Cookies for Satan. Oh my God. I am tell the, 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 that one. Uh, the, the things, the, the things. I intuitively knew the joke before, be before the, the sign made it. I wonder how many of these are like actual misspellings and how many of them are just people screwing around because they're bored at their job and they want to see if anybody notices. I put out the chicken, boss. Seasoned chicken. Well, what, what season did you get it in? Quick PSA, if your chicken looks like this, check the areas surrounding the chicken coop uh, for radiation levels. Uh, possible chemical contaminants. You might want to get the EPA involved. Maybe pick up a Geiger counter just just to be safe, because this this is not normal chicken color. Jesus loves come. See him today. Uh, no, 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 thanks. No, I don't think I will. Uh, Jesus see loves him come today. Oh, uh, mm, Jesus him come see loves today. No, 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 no reading of this comes out at all appropriate. I just shipped the new backpacks, boss. It's a me, Captain America. <laughs> what is up with the minion on the right? Oh my God. 
See kids, this is why you don't marry your cousins. This crap show in my city. Stop, no right turn. But, but, but there's a, there's a right turn. Pick one. The Holy Bibble. Signed copy. <coughs> By who? Boss, now the people won't swim in the private pool. No smoking. <laughs> I, I, I want to imagine they started off with like a no smoking sign template, changed out the graphics because the, the circle looks too thick anyway, but somehow forgot to get it, you know, fixed up and then got it printed on wood. Like this is not just a one off quick laminated thing. This took effort. Hey, Jim, it looks like we were given one too many bars. Now it won't fit. Eh, just put it in a slightly different spot. I'm sure nobody will notice. I think that, I think that works just fine, Jim. Man, you're a genius. Spoiler, everyone noticed. Bathroom door is installed, boss. How, how did you, how did you screw up every single part of this? Okay, the handle has a plate behind it. Uh, that, that's a guard for the door. I, how much damage do you think the top of the door is going to be receiving? Yeah, that should be, that should be pointed down. Uh, and you should probably remove the old kick plate. Or get one that's properly sized. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and also there's a giant window in the middle of it. <laughs> to be fair, this does look like almost prison-y. So like, there, there I, I, I don't know if there's more context to this, but... Jeez. This ATM in Egypt is not grounded and can electrocute people. Paper says, use wooden stick. That, that's, that's your solution? You, you didn't fix, fix your grounding issue. I, I, you just put out a stick? Y you know, I whine a lot about stupid regulations sometimes but <laughs> building codes sometimes yeah yeah they they're good building a house and the builder asked me to put stickers where i wanted my towel rails etc 60 millimeter wide a uh, double towel rail that wasn't at all where they asked you to put it and this isn't even like a code thing like for code sometimes you have to put stuff in weird spots uh for accessibility this is a this is a house this is a house builder they can put it wherever they want I just, I love this. This is an old one from Software Gore, but just a Shakespearean quote of the day. An SSL error has occurred and a secure connection to the server cannot be made. Truly a wordsmith. Yes, I'm quoting Marshall does stuff from eons ago. Deal with it. Ah, just bolt it down, it'll be fine. Uh, but you have to consider what you have bolted it to. For as much as we can fasten the bolts ourselves, sometimes in life we pick the wrong foundations and fall over comically and end up on reddit make make it easier to understand all right all right <clears throat> open saturday and sunday at noon with you so far thursday tuesday monday friday wednesday open at 8 p.m wait so you you open at 8 p.m on all week wait oh monday through friday but you had to add the other dates around it because people thought you were only open on Monday and Friday? I realize you don't didn't want to pay for a uh, a new sign to just say weekdays, but now I'm even more confused. Hard not to take this personally. Wow. I, I understand delis get busy. I used to get bagels pretty much every morning or an egg and cheese at a New York deli. And sometimes it was messy or slightly burned because they had a lot of people going in. And, uh, but, but that, I don't think I ever got one that bad. At least it has the appropriate amount of cream cheese on it. Because once I got, oh, I had a guy in there for like a few months that had no idea how much cream cheese. And the, the proper answer is like half the pack. Like just a bucket of cream cheese onto the bagel. That's the minimum amount. Done texturing the wall. I've seen this more and more recently. I don't, I don't know what it is. It's a training thing or what, but people see like electronics from the 90s and early 2000s and they just paint right over them. Like they're, like ancient technology, like some of the stuff is still needed, like it's thermostat control or alarm systems. We still need that. This looks like an alarm panel. Um, you, you can't just paint over it because it looks kind of old. Like we're not gonna replace it because it looks old. Got the box design finalized, boss. Samsung SSD 980, wow. Samsung messed something up. Uh, the, the, let's see here. The smart choice for NVMe performance. A neat French translation. <laughs> The thing is, they, they translated the line for the warranty right there. And I think it's a little blurry, but for more for more detailed, like that's that's all translated too. They just didn't do the the big heading, the one that actually mattered. These bananas. Bananas! Uh, again, if your bananas look like this, check the radiation levels and chemical contamination levels around wherever you grew those bananas at. I named the video boss. 
Something brief but engaging. Think of what keywords someone will search to find this. Yeah, this is why project management software exists. Yeah, so, so you don't use public facing data fields as uh, notepads to your collaborators or to yourself. There's a comments field or, the, or there, there's a task manager. There's a, there's a, no, don't do this. I found those underground cables, boss. Did, did, did you drill through the, I don't, I don't know what's going on here. And I, I don't want to know. I, I am deeply worried about what happened here. And I, I just don't feel like analyzing it right now. Fix the foundation, boss. Well, you did. <laughs> For now. See, this isn't even a not my job. This is, this is, this was your job. And you just didn't do it. <laughs> to paint properly. <laughs> Look, I know, I know there's sometimes a lot of people out there that are very litigious. But I think your risk levels are fairly low if you just want to move the chain out of the way so you can finish uh, the paint coating this curb thing. Because it's going to be there for a while. Ah, finish the wall, boss. This seems petty or, or like, intentional in some way. Because this this took a lot of effort. Like, it, it takes a lot of effort to lay that much brick. This wasn't a one-off. Like, there's way too much intention behind this. Uh, we did the driveway, boss. All right, this isn't even the... Uh, this one, this is impressive that they, they laid the concrete to begin with. Uh, this is not the fault of the driveway people, though. This is the fault of the the developer for using the standard model house. They just stamped on every single lot and not checking the topography to make sure that they could have a reasonable incline. <laughs> that that would be fun as hell to go down on a bike, though. I don't even know how you would create a working driveway. Like, you could sweep it out to the side, but you have to go really far in both ways. Probably be easier to just add a floor below and put a garage below the house and then give yourself, an, you know, another living room. Arby's Wagyu Burger is back. Uh, they just, they only have one R, man. <laughs> they only got one R and I don't care. And honestly, I don't blame them. <laughs>